No, and with that being said... Yeah, but okay. So let's go in. <laughs> Action. New Year's Day, as which is observed on January 1st, the first day of the year on the modern Gregorian calendar, as well as the Julian calendar. <laughs> in pre-Christian oh, Rome, under the Julian calendar, the day was dedicated to Janus, god of gateways and new beginnings, for whom January is also named. Jesus. This is an untamed, hedonistic drive coursing through the souls of all mankind to sip the Sauvignon Blanc, to taste the delectable ambrosia, to dance the night away with the love of your life, to be cradled in each other's arms in an exquisite portrait of beatific life, reminiscing on the wonderful times of yesteryear as the final seconds count down as you gaze at a marvelous future. And with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, with that being said, said with that being said, <laughs> oh my God, pregame too hard, I'm feeling sick already, didn't call off of work, somebody's going to have to call off of work for me, I don't have no outfit to go out, my favorite bar burnt down, <laughs> New Year's resolution, stop drinking, January 1st, fuck that, I'm drinking, Nick, can you call me off, can you tell them I can't show up for work, where am I, <laughs> ET phone home. Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> we're out of chicken wings, you have had too much to drink, Amo go home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to a special episode of The Way In. Yes, indeed. Once again, part of the Survivor Series. The Survivor okay? Series? Yes. And this one is titled, How to Survive New Year's. <laughs> Shit. Well, first off, the first thing you need is you need about a gallon of water because yes. you got a freaking headache. Your head's just big. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been to some parties, some New Year's parties, where I don't remember what's going on, and my wife, I wake the next day, and she wakes me up about 9.45, and she goes, are you ready to get up? <laughs> and I have no idea the party. Back in the day, when we were young kids, we would go to these special parties, and when they gave you a bottle of booze, I'm talking a whole bottle of booze, as part of the fee. I was born in Generation Too Late. Yeah, it was, like, it was like $50 a person. You got the full meal and a bottle of vodka or a bottle fuck? of whiskey. Are you serious? Dude, that's amazing. Okay, so speaking of which, since, All right. we, since we live in modern times, this George Jetson shit, your friends. Yeah. Uber. Yes. Lyft. Get those apps or call a taxi. Coffee. You don't, you don't want to be out drinking and driving. Too. No, you, you can't. Don't, you don't want to get no DWIs, so get those apps. You know, get a, get a DD, designated driver, and just go with that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably one of the most important things that I actually respect in, the, in this modern era that we live in. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things about the modern age that, that I like and I don't like, whatever it might be. That's not the main thing, but Uber. Uber. Hit dude, it, hit it. Dude, you hit can party all night long. Yeah. That dude will drive you home. Yeah. You... And they show up quickly. It's not like they a do. cab where they... You know why? Because they're, they're, they're all driving around. Yes. And it's the only time that like white people have no problem with like Indians, oh, yeah, yeah. Asians, Anybody people looks? wearing turbans and yeah. shit, they black dudes. Shit. They don't they, care. They're like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're going out, go out in a group. Yeah, sure. Safety in numbers. We all know this. <laughs> you know, especially if you're female... If you're going out, you're female, you know, you're a little petite girl, do go out at least with a bunch of petite girls. Somebody's going to have your back, you know, like in. You got to have, have one chick in the group who's ready to, like, lay somebody out with a fucking haymaker. You like know? Hazel? <laughs> yeah. Like, like broom, broom like, held up? Yeah, broom. <laughs> like, broom <laughs> held up. <laughs> remember, remember in, like, uh, Jago when what's his name was talking about Broom and oh, shit? Yeah. He goes, Do you know Broom Hilda? He goes, Oh, what's his name? The German actor. He's so good. Oh, uh, Christoph. Chris yeah, Christoph. Uh, whatever else. Christoph name. something. Oh, yeah, he, he goes. Like, Do you know the story of Brumhilda? Yes, it was so that good. Dude is I so love Django. Tough, this, dude. That script, <laughs> so good. Now, also, you they at phone finder. They so they have these apps where like if you lose your phone. You could just you could just hit the app from somebody else's phone and it'll tell you the location of your phone. Crucial, because you're out partying, you're drinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you might leave your phone somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Now, me personally, I like to keep at least a hundred bucks worth of cash on me. Now, everybody's using credit. You can you can pay with your phones. And That's against the case. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have, they're gonna have chips. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or wings, baby. Oh man. Or yeah. 
But you know, you want to keep cash on you just case like you're out somewhere and like your phone dies. <laughs> At least, you know, you have cash money to negotiate with. You know, go to Bloom something. Yeah. <laughs> Which speaks of partying, location. Party somewhere that you know. Yeah, yeah. Like that time that you took me to Uncle Jeff's party, that was awesome. Good time. Because not only did I know you... I got to know Jeff. I knew the area, so I knew like if I needed to get home. It yeah, that was only yeah. a few miles from your yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't tell you about it was haunted until later on. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> bullshit. We got we got to talk about that. I was hearing noises all night. <laughs> yes. That night. Holy shit. Keep an eye on your drinks. What do you mean? So no one slips you a Mickey. Oh, pff. Dude, they used to, and they used, they, um... In bars, that's more dangerous. Yeah. In private parties, I don't think it's as Not, bad. You don't have to worry about it in, in private parties, but you definitely have to worry about it when you're out at bars. And they called it a Mickey, a Mickey Finn. No, yeah, yeah, it was, Mickey Finn was a newspaper strip in the 1930s and 40s. So if you got a Mickey Finn... There Mickey, was also a Mickey Finn show. All right, there was a cartoon strip also, a weekly cartoon strip. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, it became a Mickey... A Mickey is a drink laced with, you know, a psychoactive drug or yes, an incapacitating yes, yes, yes. agent, you know, something like that. So, you know, you you want to make sure that you're not getting slipped anything crazy. Yeah. Now, moving on, hydrate before Well, now they call them date rape drugs, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's all crazy. And fuck those dudes who do that. They need to be locked up and castrated. But moving on, hydrate before you go out. Yep. Water. The good, the good old OG, been around since the dawn of time. Who's your you know, favorite? Fiji, Fiji water. I used to call that shit Fuji water. I, I did too. I, did I couldn't so. stop it either. I was like, yeah, I got the Fuji. You water. know what? It's Fuji's a place, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's food? Where's Fiji? Dude, Fiji water. By the way, if you know, no, me, where's the country at? I don't know, dude. I'm not good at geography. All right, so now, you put me on the country. spot. Put me on the spot. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get back. To, let's let's get back to the where we going, okay? Water, yeah. coconut water, Gatorade, vitamin water. Down one of these bottles before you go out to get the electrolytes in you so like you just, you're already set, you know, like you're already good to go, okay? So, next thing, situational, and this is, this is obviously not for house parties with people that you know, but situational awareness. Sure. Okay, people have cooties, shit like that. You don't want nobody weird touching you. You need to what be are you aware talking of about? you need situational awareness. You need to be aware of everything that's going on. You need to be aware of the exits. You need to be aware of shady characters, you know, people that sure, you know, sure, sure. people that's in corners looking shady. You also be Yeah, you know your exits for sure. Yeah. You need to be aware of escalating violence if you hear two people arguing. You gotta be able to pick that up out in the crowd. I pick that gotta, shit up yeah. at every party. I know, I know you sharp. I'm the first gay out the door, man. Yeah, because you know, we don't want no fucking trouble. Now, also, if you're partying too much, you wanna change your clothes. Keep a change of clothes in the car. <laughs> you know, you never know. You might you might have a girl or guy you're come right, up, right, you know, right. they made they made Ralph on you, shit like that, you know. Any anything can happen. I like to keep a change of clothes steady, just in case. Or you know, you might get too hot and sweaty. No, you're really, it's really true. You know, you know. Uh, do you keep an eye on like uh, the music? Oh yeah, yeah. If you're at a certain party and things are going weird, or you feel that there's a little like unstableness going on, throw a good tune on. Everybody that feels equal, good. That will equal. That's, music, that's amazing. Music like stabilizes everything. Everybody before you know it, the fucking hips are going. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? It, it stabilizes any kind of a party. Now, plan this out. I will. Have a hotel, a motel. <laughs> That's asking you. Oh, well. Holiday <laughs> in, or, in, or, in, or once again, in the 2019 technological age, an Airbnb. But if you're not going to make it home, you want to have an alternative location where you can rest your head, you know? Sure, man. So like that that's that's similarly crucial. Dude, I've had parties, dude, where we were partying and like we were out, dude. I ended up falling asleep in somebody's bushes and shit. I wake up in the morning. Oh yeah. Ra raccoons are laying yeah. next to me and shit. I remember back in high school days, like this is talking like like 20, 30 years ago. I would get so fucked up at certain parties that I had to go outside just to absorb the cold air to re fucking the, the, straighten the, my ass yeah, out. Yeah, to sober you up like a reset right, button. I'd be sitting on somebody's milk box. Back in the day, they had milk boxes. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I'd be sitting on that for a while and I felt good. Then I would go back in the party and realize I'm not good, really. The, <laughs> the cold air makes you feel good, but you're still fucked up. Have you ever had a, a flaming Dr. Pepper? 
Probably Dude, in some other name. Dude, maybe. It's, it's crazy. They mix a, a bunch all, of different it's got liquors the flame in the going, beer. Right? Then they then they they set a shot on fire, drop it in. Dangerous. It tastes just like Dr Pepper. I love that. Dude, I drunk this shit. I I remember drinking it, downing it. I was like, excuse me. I walk out to the porch where I had this house party. I puke <laughs> all over the ground. You know. Then I come back in and give me another drink. Oh my god. Yeah. So man. I also keep some cash at home. Yeah, you got a point there about the hundred dollar rule. Yeah, so you may burn through that hundred dollars. Say you have to call a cab. You don't have Uber. You don't have Lyft. You have to call a cab. You want to keep some cash at home so you can get to the house. Sure. And you know it's on your dresser, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's on your nightstand, where you can be like, "Here, taxi man, thank you for delivering me to my home." <laughs> I know. Now you can drive away, and we're square instead of thinking like, "Okay, you brought me home. I have no cash here." Can you take me to a you know a bank or ATM? You don't want to do all of that shit. That's bullshit. So keep some cash on hand. Yeah, that cash on hand is related to the fact that well, as soon as twelve o'clock uh, noon hits, noon you turn back into a pumpkin. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, all right. But as soon as the clock turns, everybody's like popping up, you know, streamers and mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. Everybody's kissing the girls and everything. Yeah, yeah. Because you usually. Not usually, but a few different times, you're not coherent at all. No. And you're definitely done. That $100 saves your ass. Yeah, that $100 at the house, knowing that's there, you, there's a little bit of comfort. Now, going on to the next thing, tell somebody where you're going. Yeah. Email. You I need to have a record. Yeah, I'm not going I'm not gonna be with you, you know, this New Year's. I'm going to such and such. And it's not like, um, got to tell my parents where I'm going. You want to tell a buddy, just, you know. This is a crazy world we live in, sure. just in case. So somebody needs to know, hey, my friend was at this party, okay? We looking for Black Doug, okay? Just like the hangover party. <laughs> Where the hell is Black Doug, okay? <laughs> Obviously, don't go with strangers. There's that there's that attitude, go out. Never go anybody you don't know. Yeah, you, you seeing people, it's New Year's, everything is cool, you're feeling a good vibe. People are That's a date rape shit, man. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. Yeah, so you gotta make sure that you don't go with strangers. Or shit, even dudes. You may wake up in Tijuana with a missing a kidney and shit. That shit being sold <laughs> on the black you market. You know, here's the thing you gotta be careful of and be cautious of. And think about this as any kind of a normal person. I don't care mm -hmm. what the hell you believe in. Be ready to throw a haymaker. Oh, yeah. Because you never know what you're in for. And if, you, and if you're a dude that's aware of your surroundings and whatnot, this is not like a fucking stupid thing that you do as a human being. Mm -hmm. Be ready to knock somebody out. Because you have to. when you're drunk, people are playing games, they're trying to fuck around with your goddamn crotch. You know, I'm, I, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you least expect it's gonna happen. Absolutely. Now, this is a, a hidden tip that nobody knows about, but this is also it, tying us off. Turn me on to it, man. Pedialyte. For babies? <laughs> it's true. You drink, you have some Pedialyte after a super hard night of drinking, it straightens you it right out. It replenishes you. It's yeah. crazy. It brings you back to life. Yeah, it's very, 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 very uh, replenishing. Condensed. Yeah, it's very, very it replenishes everything. It's condensed uh, Pedialyte. It's like it's got all your salts and it's your everything. potassiums. It's got everything you need in there. I knew he was hip. Yeah, man. Not only that, you keep you a cup, glass, or bottle of water, and also this is crucial: a plate of food. Something that's already ready. Well, you need to have some food before you start the party. Yes, but you need that food after you done. I get drunk munchies. Yeah, you know, I get hard. Oh, everybody drunk does. Munchies. You need to have car you need to have carbs. This is the only time you need to have carbs in your life. Definitely. It's New Year's Eve. You need to have dude, macaroni and cheese, a couple dude, sausages, dude, yes. maybe a couple rolls and a, and a hamburger. Which I'm gonna probably have to hit a, a drive through <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> By so, <the> way. <laughs> bonus. It's it's um, acculturated in a black. Community, black eyed peas for good luck. Hmm? Black eyed peas for good luck. You the know, beans. I, you know, I love them. Yeah, we do that on New Year's Eve all the time. It brings good luck. Really? Is yeah. that true? And the yes, it's it's immensely true. And the last thing. RTO for January 1st. Request the fuck off. Okay, <laughs> Dad, I'm not making it in. I'm getting hammered. So, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the episode, leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe, hit that notification yes. bell. <laughs> that was the way in. And it's obviously if you're awake. <laughs> Be good. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Yeah. Done. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Dude. <laughs>